Hello, dear viewer. Thank you for being with us and for following us as we continue to participate uh, with the World Church in the 100 Days of Prayer. And today uh, we are in day 56, day 56 of our 100 Days of Prayer. And I would like to welcome you to this um, prayer session and also to our focus today. Um, today our prayer focus is committing to God's mission, committing to God's mission. And our key verse for today is 1 Corinthians 9 verse 19. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 19 and 22. Before we read the word of God, may we bow down for a word of prayer. Kind and loving Master in heaven, we come before thy throne of grace uh, today thanking you and glorifying your name for who you are and what you have done in our lives. We thank you, Jehovah God, for the abundant blessings that you have bestowed upon our lives, even in, a, in the midst of this pandemic that has uh, shaken the world. We believe and know that you are on your throne. And Jehovah God, we know that you are still ruling and you have allowed this to happen for our purpose. Today, as we uh, contemplate on your word. We ask that uh, may your Holy Spirit abide with us so that we can be able to uh, explain the word uh, from thy scriptures. May you be with us and may you touch my lips so that the words of my mouth will be acceptable unto thee and will bring uh, the viewer closer to thee and Jehovah God will be prepared more than yesterday for your second coming. In Jesus name we pray and give thanks. Amen. The scripture in the book of 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 9, verse um, 19, after verse 19, we will also jump into uh, verse 22, and the Bible says, uh, 1 Corinthians 9, verse 19, For though I am free from all men, I have made myself a servant to all that I might win the more. And then we jump to verse 22. To the weak I, be, I became as weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save you. I want to repeat this, 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 this word. Verse, verse, 19, verse 19. For though I am free from all men, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win the more. To those who are without law, as without law, I have started from uh, 21st, and also 22nd says that to the weak I became as weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. This is a testimony from the Apostle Paul. And I love Paul so much because most of his ministry was sacrifice made. He sacrificed himself to see, to, to see that others know what he knew. Remember, the background of Paul was not very good. Paul was someone who used to kill those who believed. Paul was someone who used to persecute people. He was a murderer. He was a killer. But when he met with Jesus Christ, he, Jesus changed his life. And when this life, his life was changed, now he devoted himself in serving the Lord. And that's why he says that there is no one who is compelling me to do what I am doing. But I am doing this for the sake of Christ. Let me say this today. Every true disciple is born into the kingdom of God as a missionary. The moment you believed in Jesus Christ, the moment you met your Christ, that is the moment that you were modified, that now you are a disciple of Christ. You are not only a believer in Christ. When you believe in Jesus Christ, now you have gotten into his disciples. And remember the commission that he gave unto us in the book of Matthew 28. That now go therefore into the whole world spreading the gospel. Therefore, it is very clear that every true disciple 
If now you are a true, you are a convert of Christ, and you are a Christian, a Christian, you are born into the kingdom of God as a missionary. Missionary work, evangelism, these are not fields of service reserved only for the pastor or trained evangelist. Every believer in whose heart Jesus dwells through the Spirit is called to shine a light in this world through words of truth and action of love. Not only that you, oh, you speak to people about the true God. It's not, it's, it is not a must that you take a microphone or you record messages like I am doing so that you can be a true believer in Christ or you can be a disciple. No. Your actions can speak. And by the way, action speaks louder than words. Therefore, your conduct amidst the heathens, your conduct amidst the world will preach a lot. Why not ask Christ right now to show you who and where your mission field is today? Because each and every one of us have a mission field. There is somewhere that you are supposed to take the message. There is someone you are supposed to influence positively. Because I believe that all of us have people who, 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 who take positive influence from us, who have, uh, we, we influence. There are people who look upon us. Today, I would like you to plead for genuine compassion for lost souls and the courage to share your faith with love to the people in your sphere of influence. That is my prayer today, that you will say, you will ask God to give you courage, that you will be able to influence those who are in your sphere of influence positively, and you will give them what you believe, because let me say this, you don't give what you don't believe, you just hear what you believe, and a way of doing that is being a responsible person, being someone who is unique, even if your workmates are, are doing what is not right, you stand on your feet and say that, no, this is not right. Even if there are benefits that you will be denied, do that for the sake of Christ. Remember, you are a disciple of Christ. And one day, one time, the truth that you have been given, the light that you have been given, the Lord will ask you, what did you do with it? The talent you have today, the Lord will ask you, what did you do with it? Remember, we are the light of the world, according to the book of Matthew 4. We are the light of the world. A city that is placed on top of a mountain that cannot be hidden. Blessing, it is a high time that you do not uh, uh, take that light that you have been given and put it under a bush. But it is the right time to let it shine in the world. Today, I want us to pray for clarity as to what God's mission for you is where you are at right light, uh, light now. Pray that God will help you to be faithful in sharing Christ with the people around you and that He will enable the Holy Spirit to tame your words, your actions, your conduct so that we will hasten the coming of Christ. The pandemic is here. The calamities are here with us. These are signs to show us that the end of the world history is imminent. And Jesus is just at the door. He's coming, brethren. He's near. He's coming. The, the coming of Christ, by the way, is nearer than you when you believed. Let us share the good news. Because when we share this good news to the whole world, then the end shall come. Maybe it's you who have not shared this good news. Maybe I have not reached an extent of sharing this good news to the people who I'm, whom I'm supposed to share to. Brethren, it is high time to take the gospel to the whole world. And I know the Lord where he is, on his throne, when he sees that we are working to make sure that the message reaches to the ones who don't know this message, he will be pleased and he's coming 
will be eminent. May God bless you and join me today to pray for the world, to pray for the church leaders, to pray for, for, for the life of the church, to pray for the uh, uh, believers of Christ so that uh, the Holy Spirit will compel them so that they can share this good news and they can represent Jesus in the right way. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving Master in heaven, we thank you for the word. Indeed, your servant Paul took an initiative to submit himself to thee holy and even to your work. And he worked tirelessly, not considering who is looking, who is, who, who is uh, saying what, but he sacrificed himself. He did what he could to make sure that people know you, people uh, believe in you. This moment, Father, we ask of the same heart, the same spirit that led Paul. He, whatever he did, we ask you that may you give us the same spirit so that we will be joined together with the brethren in the world to spread your gospel. And when the gospel will reach all the corners of the world, then you will come to take us home. Jehovah God, I pray for the viewer. I know there are some prayer requests that he has. I know that there are some burdens that he or she has. I know there are prayer requests that he or she is posting before the throne of prayer uh, of, of grace at this moment. Or he has posted, oh Jehovah God. There is something that uh, has been disturbing my viewer. Maybe, Jehovah God, may you come in for him or her. May you come and change the history that he has had. May you come and abide with him. Jehovah God, we know that you are faithful. We are just pleading with you. We are not commanding you. We are just pleading with you. Thank you because you are faithful. We also want to commit the world church into thy able throne. As they look forward to spread the gospel to the whole world and to lead your children in becoming disciples to take the message, may you be with them. May your Holy Spirit guide them so that the decisions they will make, they will do uh, they will make the right decisions. We want to pray for the whole world. This pandemic, Corona, has shaken the world. Jehovah God, may you have mercy on us. I know the devil has brought this so that he can discredit you. But Father, we rebuke him in the name of Jesus. He is defeated. You defeated him there in heaven. You defeated him at Calvary. I know in our lives you defeat him. And even in this situation, you have defeated him. We thank you because we have seen some, um, uh, some changes. Some countries are opening their borders. Some countries are changing the, the way they had the restrictions. They are loosening the restrictions because there is improvement. We want to glorify your name because it is not because of the doctors, not because of the countries, but it is you who have stood and you have declared everything to be well. And we believe that you will continue to stabilize the world. And even the economies will start doing well. And people who are suffering at this moment, Jehovah, they will feel better and they will feel relieved. Thank you because you are faithful. May you continue being with us. May you continue blessing us. Bless my dear viewer and bless each and every one who have taken time to ask you for anything. May you be with us. And more to that, continue preparing us for your second coming. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen.